friends and welcome. My name is Tiffany. I'm a library assistant at Patterson Branch Library. Today I have a fun activity for you guys. We are going to make an ocean in a bottle, which is a great science experiment. We get to see what happens when you combine water and oil together. So let's go ahead and gather everything we need and we can begin. You will need a bottle. You can use a water bottle, a soda bottle, or even a mouthwash bottle, which I love because it has a child safe cap. Then you need some oil. You can use canola or vegetable oil will work. Of course, we need water. And you will need a funnel and also some blue food coloring. And if you wanna make it extra fun, go ahead and add some rocks. And I have some little sea creatures, some little fish. So let's begin. Take your bottle you're using and fill it a third of the way with water. If you don't have a funnel, you can just go ahead and pour it in without the funnel. Okay, that's about a third of the way filled. Now let's go ahead and add a few drops of food coloring. I think that looks good. Now we can put our lid on and shake, shake, shake. I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to add our rocks, just a few. Our little sea creatures. Okay, now let's see what happens when we pour the oil. Now the rest of the way, you wanna fill it up with oil. So just pour the oil in there. So you have it all topped off. There we go. Now we can put our lid back on. And if your lid isn't child safe, you can always add a little bit of hot glue around the rim and then you can just put the lid on. Okay, now let's shake, shake, shake. So what do you think is going to happen? with the oil and the water, are they going to mix? Look at our ocean, doesn't that look cool? So why doesn't the water and the oil mix? It forms little droplets. Why is that? Because water molecules are polar, which means one is negative and one is positive. Well, oil molecules are nonpolar, which means they're evenly distributed throughout. So they'll bond with other oil molecules and water will bond with other water molecules, but they will not combine together. There you have it, our ocean in a bottle. You can see the little fish in there and the rocks. Thank you for joining me today and we'll see you next time.